All over the world, engineers are working to build machinery bigger and better than ever before. With the world population growing every year, there are more and more demands put on construction and mining equipment. Meanwhile, newer generations of enthusiasts are building passion-driven machines that get bigger and bigger all the time. Whether they are made just for fun or in order to drive the world's economy, today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most monstrous vehicles ever made. Let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Largest Pickup Truck Hamad bin Habdan al Nayyan, otherwise known as the Rainbow Sheik, is a member of the Abu Dhabi royal family in the United Arab Emirates, and he is also one of the richest people in the world with a net worth of over $150 billion. And what has he done with his vast fortune? Cured world hunger? Clean the oceans! Well, almost, I suppose. Instead, he has amassed one of the most awe-striking car collections in the world. Comprised of over 200 rare, exotic, and often one-of-a-kind vehicles, the value of this collection is almost impossible to assess. But half a billion dollars is more than a reasonable estimate. Among the vehicles in his collection is the world's biggest pickup truck, a highly modified 1950s Dodge Power Wagon. The Rainbow Sheik likely would have built this vehicle even larger, but he was limited by the size of tires that could be built for it. As it stands, the gargantuan vehicle weighs over 50 tons. But this is more than just a classy-looking monster truck. In fact, it contains several luxury bedrooms, a living room, meeting room, fully functioning kitchen, and multiple bathrooms. On top of all that, the tailgate lowers to create a walkout patio. So at this point, you might assume that this thing is more house than truck, but believe it or not, that's not the case. This massive machine has a driver's seat and a 300 horsepower engine that moves it along at a modest 40 miles per hour. So, okay, it might not be fast, but it does move and it is certified for use on local roads. Number 9. The Longest Limo In the mid-90s, California custom car guru Jay Orberg set out to build the world's longest limousine. And in order to make things official in 1999, the Guinness Book of World Records acknowledged it as the world's longest car. But what's a limousine without lots of luxury accommodations? And when it comes to outlandish extras, this 100-foot-long rolling spectacular doesn't disappoint. Riding on top of 26 wheels and driven from two separate driver cabins, it boasts a jacuzzi, a diving board, a king-size bed, and even a helicopter pad. Additionally, when Jay and his guests aren't sleeping, flying, or swimming, they can relax in a common area decorated in candelabras and lace. While this rolling den of luxury was once enough to take your breath away, 15 years later it was discovered in disrepair. The limo was dubbed the American Dream, and leased to a company who used it for promotional events. When their lease ended, it sat abandoned in a New Jersey warehouse. All was not lost, however. In 2014, the car was acquired by the New York AutoZM Automotive Teaching Museum, where students will work on its restoration over a number of years. But given the sheer size of it, it may be some time before this extravagant machine is rolling again. Number 8. Panzer VII Moss The Panzer Kampfwagen VII Moss, known as the Panzer VII Moss, was a Nazi tank designed by Ferdinand Porsche. You've probably heard of him for his sports cars. Well, the Panzer wasn't exactly a speed demon, but it was 33 feet long, 12 feet wide, and weighs a shocking 207 tons. Only one of these giants was ever built, and that's all they ever needed. The Panzer was pretty good at defending itself, boasting over 8-inch thick armor and having several heavy guns mounted. Moving around all that weight required the Panzer to have some serious power. This vault on wheels was propelled by a 1200 horsepower V12 diesel engine capable of producing 6.4 horsepower per ton and reaching speeds at 20 kilometers an hour. Number 7. NASA Crawler Transporter so far, we've seen a couple entries which, although enormous, vaguely resemble vehicles that we see every day. But our number 8 entry is where we reach new levels of enormity. In the 1960s, NASA set about creating a massive transportation unit to help transport the Saturn IB and Saturn V rockets. The result was the NASA Crawler Transporter, and over the coming decades, it underwent multiple upgrades and adaptations. Today, this incredible piece of engineering is over 130 feet long, 114 feet wide, and weighs more than 6 million pounds. And just to make sure it didn't get lonely, NASA built the massive machine a twin. The two crawlers were temporarily retired in 2011, but not before they were added to the U.S. National Register of Historic Places in 2001. Although they are currently getting some much-needed R&R, NASA has announced plans to use them in the future to transport the Orion spacecraft to and from launches. This 
By taking a little time off, The Crawler has found its way into several big-budget Hollywood films, including 1995's Apollo 13, 2011's Transformers Dark of the Moon, and the 2019 film Apollo 11. Number 6. Bagger 288 Built by Thyssen Krupp in 1978, our next entry makes everything else on our list look like a Hot Wheels model. The Bagger 288 is an epic piece of mining machinery owned by a German firm called Rainbron. In the world of mining, overburden is the name given to rocks, soil, and ecosystems that lie in the way of economically viable materials. In other words, it's what miners have to get out of the way to reach the stuff they're mining. This can be a pretty big job in large-scale operations, and the Bagger 288 is up to the challenge. In a single day, it can remove as much as 240,000 cubic meters of overburden. So just how big is this metal beast? Well, it is over 720 feet long, 315 feet tall, and 151 feet wide. If that wasn't astounding enough, it does weigh more than 29.8 million pounds. Of course, to remove so much dirt in so little time, this phenomenal structure needs to be fairly mobile. And with a 16.56 megawatt external power source, the Bagger 288 has a respectable top speed of 32.8 feet per minute. Number 5. Bell AZ 75710. Dump trucks are always large vehicles, but in the world of mining, they can reach all new levels of giant. A crowning example of this is the Belaz or the Bell AZ 75710, the largest dump truck in the world. Some might say that the true measure of a dump truck is how much it can haul, and the 75710 doesn't disappoint. This behemoth is capable of hauling 496 tons of dirt or other materials. That might sound like an awful massive payload, but consider this. The 75710 is over 67 feet long, nearly 30 feet tall, and just as wide, and it weighs an incredible 793,446 pounds. That's nearly 400,000 tons. Unlike some of our previous entries, the Bell AZ75710 are mass-produced and have been around since 2013. So, if you'd ever like to speed up your next move, you can pick one up for a very affordable, and I use that term very loosely, six million dollars. Number four, the Terex Buckyrus RH400. I don't know if this is pronounced Buckyrus or Basiris, but hey, I'll just roll with it. The Basiris RH400 has a long and storied history, the result of which is that it has been, in one way or another, owned and produced by three different companies, including Terex, Caterpillar, and Basiris. But regardless who is legally responsible for the project, the RH400 has been in construction since 1997. This monstrous front shovel excavator weighs nearly 100,000 tons, and a single scoop from its massive shovel can move upwards of 94 tons of earth, allowing it to excavate as much as 9,000 tons of earth in as little as an hour. The massive amount of work that can be performed with the RH400 is possible thanks to two 16-cylinder engines that generate an eye-popping 4,400 horsepower. With a price tag of $11 million, this giant earth mover has a bit of room for added comforts, including a separate room behind the cab that features a refrigerator and a microwave. Number 3. Antonov AN-225 The Antonov AN-225 is a cargo freight aircraft that was created in the Soviet Union. Its first flight was on December 21, 1988, and it was something of a momentous occasion. The reason why was because it was the heaviest aircraft ever built. That was because it was built to haul some pretty major cargo. This 629,000 pound plane was built to transport the Buran space plane, a shuttle designed by the Soviet Russian Buran program. That means it literally had to fly around with an entire spacecraft inside it. This 629,000 pound plane was built to transport upwards of 550,000 pounds internally and 440,000 pounds on a specially built upper fuselage. Now it's time for the day's best pick. My pick for today may be one of the wildest vehicles we've seen on this channel. Number 2. This massive side-by-side -side tanker is the result of an international coalition between three very different places, India, Belgium, and Cochabamba. The project came about as the result of a need in all three places to build low-cost, reliable bulk transport for vital fuel. All three of these regions struggle to transport adequate amounts of fuel into remote areas. By combining financial resources, the three areas were able to purchase two such rigs, one for Cochabamba and one for Belgium and India. Eventually, the rigs will transport enough fuel to pay for themselves, and each of the three governments will be able to start building their own fleets. Now, before we do get to number one, let's take a moment to check out today's honorable mention. 
Most of the vehicles we've looked at today have been on four or more wheels, but let's take a look at the world's largest version of a smaller vehicle. The Gunbus 410 from Leonhardt is the world's most monstrous motorcycle. Considering a motorcycle requires that you sit on top of it, being a giant isn't necessarily an advantage. Well, don't tell the folks at Leonhardt that. This German motorcycle manufacturer created a 6700cc monster that's 11 feet long and weighs in at a crushing 1,430 pounds. Despite its size, it will get up to 80 miles per hour, but with all that weight, cornering is definitely an acquired skill. If you have your eyes on one of these for your own collection, you might want to start saving your pennies because one of these two-wheeled beasts will run you just shy of $400,000. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Seawise Giant the aptly named Seawise Giant was among the largest ships ever built. More recently known as the Mont, this floating behemoth is over 1,500 feet long and nearly 110 feet tall. This 418,611 ton mega sized crew carrier was built in 1977 by Japanese manufacturer Sumitomo Heavy Industries LTD. And since then, it has gone by many names, including Seawise Giant, Happy Giant, Jara Viking, Nock of Nevis, and finally Mont. Unfortunately, no matter what you call it, the ship was taken out of service in 2009 and officially scrapped in 2010, with no larger ship ever taking its place. Which of the vehicles on today's list did you find the most astounding, and which would you most like to drive? Let us know in the comments down below. With all that said and done, that's our video for the day, folks, and I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all next video. Later, everybody!